<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Right. bringing you a mango bison. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have a clue about this beer. I don't actually know anything. I can tell you that it's got 5.2% ABV. Um, I can tell you it's Polish from an original German recipe. But mm -hmm. as all the beer no ideas going around the world with these beers, I thought we'd better do the same. So you see? Yeah, you this go. is really interesting, isn't it? I've not tried this before. And I wonder how the mango's going to work. I don't know. It always gives you an idea. I mean, you're doing the homebrew if it works. Yeah, that's true. As long as you don't put too much. <laughs> right. Um, I want to show them the bottle before I pour it. Okay. Because it really looks mad in that bottle, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. There we go. It says six to eight degrees, but I'll get that ready for a minute. Yeah, that's what it says on the side of it. Yeah. Well, I did check it. 500 ml bottle, by the way, people. Um, I brought it in a pack of 10, so I can't tell you how much it costs. Probably about £3.50. Not a cheap one, then. Not that bad. And it looks mango y. <laughs> it does, look. Yeah, it is a very orangey colour. <laughs> <laughs> You're really sarcastic, you are. <laughs> Smells of pure mango, it's mad. Oh, God, look at that. Wow. The sediment in that was just oh, I wish you so had the, thick. Yeah. I wish you had the camera on a close up, right? Show them that, and then I'll get this ready for you. For, it's still mad. Look at the colour of that. There's a mad amount of beautiful, sediment. Beautiful, beautiful orange colour. Right, let's take this picture. Uh, I've got to Instagram it for them as well. Colour. There we go. That looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, smell, do the smell, the smell of mangoes without even doing that. Oh, it's, wow, yeah. I mean, we've had a peach. You have got that wheaty smell there as well, though. Yeah, we had a peach wise and we reviewed not so long ago, which was really good as well, wasn't yeah. it? Surprisingly nice. We've done our own homebrew, um, a raspberry one that was really nice. You have, you've got your, it, it's got your normal bison smell. Mm. There's a bit of spice, there is a wheaty smell, maybe a bit of yeast in there, but the mango is yeah. really overpowering. And yeah, it's say, predominant, the mango smell. It's, just, look, look, that looks like absolute beauty, doesn't it? Mm. Right, I'm first. Here we go. Here you go, Baza. Whatever you can do, I can do. Too. No, I'm not doing it. Mm. Now that is pretty cool. It's definitely a bit of you. Oh yeah, that's lovely. That is, it's creamy, it's smooth, mm -hmm. it flows There through. is a spiciness there to it as well though. And I'm really getting that at the end of the mouthfeel. It's really, you sort of hit with the, the, the mango, the mango's there at the beginning, and then you've got um, a sort it's of spicy, well, spicy finish. Yeah, and it's creamy. It's got, Maybe even slightly peppery. It's, that's an absolute beauty. Yeah, Ooh. that really is a nice combination of flavours because you've got the sweetness from the mango, but you've also got that really nicely balanced off the spicier finish. I do like that. And yeah, it is very creamy, isn't it, on the mouthfeel? Yeah. And it's really, it just doesn't look it, obviously, because it's so hazy, you wouldn't see the carbonation, but it's really well carbonated yeah. all the way through, and it's like, 
that's that's quality. Yeah, that really is nice. Yeah, wow, well, well, well done. Our friends in Poland. Mm. As I say, um, I don't know about uh, getting this where you get it from. I just got it. It should have been in a wholesale thing, but I got some separate beers to, to, to distinctly. He let me purchase two of each day to do some reviews and some mm. facials. They normally just sell to the pubs up in Liverpool. Um, if you're up in Liverpool, the one I've just put up today, the Maxi Maxi um, Leo Vison, mm. that came from a pub. I've got some more of them so we can mess around with a bit, but that's absolute beauty. No. Yeah, that really is a, that is a special drink. I do like that. And then kind of got it just right. Yeah, where the mango is really predominant on the aroma, on the actual flavour, it's a little bit more subtle, isn't it? Yeah. It isn't overpowering at all, it's nicely balanced out. I'm not that keen on mango, am I? To eat, <laughs> but then I don't mind it in a drink, if that makes sense. <laughs> well, you drink Vizal beer, but you don't like bananas, hey? I, yeah, for me, it's the texture of a banana. I can't just sit and eat one, I don't like the texture I of love it. A banana. I do actually like the flavour of bananas. That is good, and it does. Now it's that bitter, bit at the end, like you say, a bit of spice maybe. But then the mango kicked back in then, right at the end. Yeah, end. it's re it is really well balanced out with the fruit flavour and the spicy flavour. But they work and pair well together with each other. Yeah, it's definitely yes. It's better than I thought. I was expecting. They seem to get a lot better drinks up north than what we get down here. Oh, yeah. These are all in the pubs. If you yeah. live in Liverpool, these are you in the pubs. People. You get to have this in your pub. It's really, really is pleasant. Yeah. Mm. It's, um, it's uh, yeah. Black Beetle drinks is a supplier. www.blackbeetle.co.uk, but it's only wholesale. This is because I did two of his packs from mm. um, last year. So yeah, um, yeah. That's a definite yes. Oh, this one definitely gets a yes from me. It's I, I like different that. as well. It, yeah, it is something different. A lot of the uh, buys and beers can taste a little bit samey. You kind of know what to expect, don't you? Well, this I like is... what to expect. <laughs> but this is this is something that's a little bit different. Yeah. So yeah, it makes it really, it's a nice change. Yeah. It's a definite yes, like I say. Um, I'd have to go, because that's good. Hmm. We're going to be arguing with this one, because we're only doing I'm going on yes and an eight. I was just about to say that. Right? <laughs> yeah. I thought we were thinking the same thing. That's why I come out for it first. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Why well, don't you go and disappear in there and I'll drink the rest of this and then we can say, you know, oh, no. happy days. No, I think I'll be sharing that with you. See, we share one, but what she does, she don't look at you. See, you don't be fooled and think a little person. She'll chug it and then say, oh, I've only had one sip. And you're like, yeah, but that one sip was, nah, never mind. I would not do such a thing. No, nah, I'll just make it up, don't I? Right. Anyway, what can I say? Big thumbs up. If you're gonna get this, get it. And if anyone does find out a supplier of bottles, do let us yeah, know. Like so. I did look briefly, but all I got up was um, Polish things. And unfortunately, my Polish is not too good at the moment. <laughs> but there was not one supplier that I could find in England. Mm -hmm. So there you go. But I don't know, maybe they're out there, maybe they can be. Who knows, isn't it? Um, yeah, as I say, give it a like. So, um, Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and coin. Bonjour. Thanks for watching.